This year is a Kildalton 1981. I already drank a bit. And we were, had a little challenge of comparing that to an 19, uh, 2014 Dark Beck And this here is a cask strength, very old. I don't think they didn't tell us how old it was. Or was it above 20 years? And it's just, it's just amazing. It's a pure sherry cask and it's cask strength. And when you try it, mm, you have that tingling feeling of, of that cask strength combined with a lot of um, fruits, cherries, dried fruits. And behind me, you can just see the Kildarm Cross. So, mm, it's just an amazing, amazing experience. And back in the days, in, 18, in 1981, the uh, Artbeck Distillery was just changing their style to a bit of a lightly peated whiskey because the Hiram Walker uh, company from Canada believed they could get their single malt up and running better with a slightly less peated malt. So, great glass. Mm, maybe I'll go get some seconds. Huh? So that it, that's it for this day and um, we just went down today from Loch Ugedal to the Kildalton Cross and we had a good tasting of two Kildalton whiskies. One of them was really really old, I mean, that was a, I think it was 1981 and it was really nice. And we just set up the camp, the weather still looks promising but we know it's going to poor rain today it's gonna to be really really horrible rain today so we hope for the best we set up the camps with all the the herrings we could get and pack them down and yeah we just hope for the best to not get too wet so I'm just gonna give you a quick look around and it's just beautiful Scottish environment